Thanks for logging on to Newslink Indiana. I'm Chief Weather Forecaster Michael Barons. Let's take a look at what we started out with this morning. We had a little bit of snowfall in the overnight. That quickly melted away as the sun came up, at least off the pavement. It's not going anywhere on those grassy areas because it's just too cold right now, and the cold weather going to stick around with us. Look at this Arctic blast, this air really across the entire country. 30 degrees Kansas City, 17 in Minneapolis, 18 back here in Muncie as of 9 o'clock, so not much better where we are. And be thankful we're not dealing with this. This is lake effect snow. It's been falling across Michigan, Canada, back out into New York for the better part of the past couple of days, and it just keeps coming down. All these little snowflakes, these are snowfall reports just north of Grand Rapids. We had a pretty good snowfall report as of noon today, already over a foot, 13.6 inches, and it's been coming down ever since then. And then back off toward the south, just north of Kalamazoo, we had another snow report. This one coming in about 645, 16 inches of snow. And it's still continuing to snow, and it's still continued to forecast the snow for those guys over the next couple of days as precision cast keeps the lake effect snow flowing across Michigan. Back out toward the west parts of Wisconsin, this is going to be our next system. It's going to start to track down into Indiana. We could see some light snow in the morning hours. We're not expecting a whole lot of accumulation. As of 10 o'clock, some light snow showers going on across our northern counties, across parts of Grant County south of Marion. As far as accumulation, though, we're not expecting this to dump a whole lot of snow across the region, and it quickly moves out of here by the time Wednesday ends. Now, as far as snowfall totals, our models predicting on the low end here, Muncie about a tenth of an inch, Marion four tenths of an inch, Portland two tenths of an inch. So the heavier part of that snow going to stay well to our north, and we're not expecting a whole lot to come out of that. For tonight, though, 11 degrees, mostly cloudy, scattered flurries, bitterly cold wind chills. That's going to be our thing for the overnight. Take a look at this. 4 o'clock this morning, 1 degree is what it feels like in Winchester, 5 here in Muncie, 3 in Anderson. The winds between 5 to 15 in the overnight and only gustier tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, light scattered snow, all of the accumulations across our region under half an inch. 35 degrees are, are high tomorrow, a west-southwest wind 10 to 20 miles per hour, so the wind chill is still going to be a factor tomorrow. And our seven-day, look at these temperatures. They really start to plummet as we head toward the end of the week. The sun returns, but it's really not doing much for us. 25 the high Thursday, 10 the low Thursday night and Friday morning, 27 on Friday. But as we get our warming trend for the weekend, we see the rainfall start to make its way into us. Saturday, we see the chance of freezing rain for the start of the day, but quickly transitioning over to rain as we warm up toward 43. Sunday, 53, the warmest day of this forecast, but the rain firmly in place. And by Monday, the rainfall starts to make an end, but our temperatures crash once again. Monday's high, 51 early. We take a really roller coaster dive down to 28 by Monday night and by Tuesday we start to clear up once again but only 34 after the next cold front moves through. Again thanks for logging on and be sure to follow our Twitter at NLI Weather.